<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's time for today's comedian. Please put your hands together for Mike McCarthy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Rad, it's great to be here. Yeah. Well, last week I was in Mississippi. <laughs> and I don't want to say that everybody in Mississippi is dumb, but look at it on a map. It's surrounded by Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Tennessee. States marinating in stupidity, folks. <laughs> there are parts of that state that are so backwards ass that when you're driving through, if you listen closely enough, you can actually hear the old Dukes of Hazard narrative voice. <laughs> Start doing your life. Remember old Waylon Jennings? I'm driving through right here. Well, it was just about that time that the bald-headed hippie Yankee stand-up comic from Boston pulled into town. He didn't know it yet, but he sure was in for a heap of trouble. I went outside after the show in Mississippi, and I got high with some of the people from the crowd. Which, by the way, folks, is an exceptional way for you to spend some quality time with your comedian. <laughs> I went to my doctor the other day, and he asked me if I take any drugs. I told him I smoke marijuana. He goes, recreationally? I said, well, I'm not in a league or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, man. What do you get? <laughs> I come walking back into this club in Mississippi. I am greeted by the largest woman I have ever seen in my entire life. I was told afterwards she weighed 1,235 pounds. Wow. Now listen, I try not to make fun of anybody in my act, but listen, if you write your weight down on a piece of paper, and you need to use a comma. <laughs> she says to me, she goes, you know, we thought you was really funny, but you talk way too fast. Much more laid back here in Mississippi. We like it nice and slow. Got what we call a Mississippi pace. Don't y'all have the same thing up north in Boston? <laughs> Where you're from? I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, up in Boston, we do. We have the exact same thing, only up there, we generally refer to it as wicked retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so I am 100% Irish. I didn't wear the kilt in Mississippi, by the way. Uh, and I'm a big drinker, I'm an alcoholic, although I don't like that word. I prefer the term booze hound, thank you very much. I recently realized I have to slow down on my drinking. I have a friend from Dublin who pulled me aside and told me he was concerned about my alcohol consumption. People, when a guy from Ireland tells you that you drink too much, that's like Tony Montana from Scarface going, do you know what, man? You're doing too much cocaine. <laughs> I can slow down because it's such a great part of my personality, and I'm a great drunk. I really am. The only one that ever gets hurt is me. Woo! I'm that guy. If I'm drinking and my wife's not around and you got the bail money, I'll do anything. Ah! <laughs> you only get one life, people. I figure you better choke the living daylights out of it, right? Who wants to die with regrets? Not me. I want to play my cards so perfectly that when I get to heaven, when I get to the pearly gates, I want St. Peter sitting there looking at me going like this. It was close. <laughs> It was like 51-49, buddy. You're lucky you let them kids of yours get in there. <laughs> I'm all right when I'm drinking beer, although I wish they would stop messing with beer. Perfect the way it is. Now they're putting all kinds of stuff in it. This one has a lemon. This one has a lime. This one has caffeine. Now they have one with ginkgo biloba. <laughs> so you remember what an ass you made out of yourself last night. <laughs> it's the hard shot that gets me in trouble. I found out through extensive research <laughs> if you drink enough Irish whiskey, you can actually get a leprechaun to show up next to you. <laughs> you seem like a nice group. That ever happens to you? Do me a favor. Don't listen to a damn word that little son of a bitch says. <laughs> Nothing but bad advice. Hit the gas mic. You can beat the cops. <laughs> Tell them all that Harley Davidson's are for wussies, I dare ya. She might not be that young, and it could just be a cold sore. Take a chance. Come on! <laughs> and my name's Mike McCarthy. Thank you all so very much. Mike McCarthy, everybody. Mike, what's your website? Uh, thecomedybarbarian.com. Thecomedybarbarian.com. We'll be right back right after this. Yeah. Yeah.